everyone. I hope all of you guys are having a wonderful week. So I have a small grill opening for you today and I already started cutting it open, but let me see if I can get the rest of it without, you know, being reckless or you know, careless. But I saw this lovely doll on Facebook and the lady who's selling her was really awesome. Her name is Maria and she was definitely a sweetheart. Um, this doll, I guess I'll open it up because I don't want to just like talk or whereas I can actually show. Let me get this out of the way and let me show you who arrived. So as you can see, this is Cool Pool Lemonade. And as I had mentioned, Cool Pool Lemonade is one of my grails. Um, I'm not really a huge midi collector. I have one already, but I don't really want an army of midis just because I don't really want to focus a collection on it but I bought one just to see what it was about and I really like her she is the circus thing one I guess to Zinochka which is the Blythe I really forgot um what her name was but she has like red hair and green eyes and she was really pretty because I really like redhead dolls red red hair dolls and I liked green eyes so cool cool mini is a little bit different just because she's the first and only tan midi Blythe that Takara has ever made. And with how things are going with the midi line and the releases being, I feel like, kind of more frequent, I don't know if they will continue making midis in the future. I hope so. But you just kind of never know. So I really, like like, like I said, I really, really like tan dolls. So her being a tan midi, I figured having two midis would be fantastic. So let me open her up. Maria did an awesome job packaging her up. So this is the actual doll. Oh, she's so pretty. Oh, lovely, gorgeous. She's so cute. And she also has green eyes, but her hair is so soft and silky and doesn't feel greasy at all. It's a very nice quality doll. And I know some of the stock Blythe releases are a little bit disappointing, but this one is pretty, pretty nice. And even my other midi, I really like her a lot too. The quality just seems like very sound for this doll. So here we have the actual doll. And then here's some of her stock. Here is her little dress. Has little lemons printed all over it. And then we also have her swimsuit and a pair of shoes and a hair bow. stock. It's so cute. I guess these are the little bottoms and they're so tiny compared to Blythe but they're still kind of small on Blythe too. And then we have this part. So it's like we have the top and the bottoms and something that looks like a little capelet. And then um, Maria said that she would send some extras like these shoes. She says they're not perfect, but they'll be, you know, usable for photos. And they definitely will be. And I'm really, really grateful she sent these. It's just it's just a really nice gesture that she didn't have to, but she did so. So I very much appreciate that. And then let's see. What else do we, do we have anything else here? Oh, okay. So the one thing that's missing from her stock would be the white sunglasses and Maria told me that she didn't have them but she's including two other um licensed glasses so that was really sweet and kind of her as well it's so got a red, red pair here and then we also have a pink pair oops did the oh okay here we go part of the frame fell off but we can just pop that back in And I can show you what it looks like. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> she looks so sassy with them on. Let's see. Very cool. You see, in her eyes, they move side to side, unlike the blinds that have a pull string that have four pairs of eye chips. I really like her eyes. They're just really pretty. Kind of like a really turquoisey green. Is that accurate? Mm. It's 
been a long day and I also had a really really big burger and fries and I ate it all okay so let's see what do I want to dress her up in okay let's get her in her little swimsuit let's get some bottoms on her and I don't have many midi clothes but I would like to sew a little bit more for midi um, this up upcoming year <laughs> maybe for the rest of the year we'll see the size is a little bit finicky. It's not impossible, but it's definitely, definitely finicky. That's the best word. So let's get that on her, the bottoms. Okay. Let's see what we can do when it comes to the top. Oh, there's a little Velcro on the back. And we will close it and we'll do it. A tie at the front. Maybe not at the front, at the neck. Oh, she's so cute. And I really like the tan color. Alrighty, so let's put her facing a little bit downwards. Then we'll tie it off. Perhaps it's a little bit undignified, especially since her neck is on the edge of the box. But it works. Ah, oh, she's so cute. Okay, let's see. This one hopefully has Velcro, I would think. Oh, no, okay. Oh, you know what? I don't think this is capable. I think it might be something that, um, does she wear at the waist? That would make sense, right? Kind of like a little skirt. That's so cute. love it and then let's see what else what else what else can we do hmm. maybe get some pink shoes on her and then we can have her the pink sunglasses oh okay that one's kind of popped out Hitting my tripod. There we go. She's so cute. So I think that's the right foot. Well, it works. So here we have our cool pool lemonade mini. Who is ready for the summer? So fashionable. Oh, I don't think I mentioned this, but she has a stand as well, so I can pop it up on that. And I think it's really awesome because um, one of my concerns was that it's hard to find stands for middies, but I like the standard one that comes with um, the Blythe dolls. So that's even perfect. So there you have it. Well, that was a quick little opening, box opening, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week, um, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.